I'm going to talk about login audit trail. So NetState natively has a login audit trail that allows administrators to see a full list of users that have logged in, when they logged in, which role they logged into, and what other associated information they want to see. So this information is very useful, but for one of our clients, their auditing team wanted to see the last login date for each user by role. This data would help them track which users have been recently active in NetSuite. So our team used the safe search summary types on the results page to help identify the last login date by user and role. Here's an example of the standard NetSuite login audit trail. Without any customization, it shows a record of every time an individual logs in. So if the user logged in multiple times using the same role, each login would show up on a different line. This view displays a complete set of the data, but it does not have a field that directly calls out the most recent login for these users. This search also includes uh, displaying lo login failures. So if the user was asked a security question during login or if they failed to log in, all that information is tracked. And for the purposes of that case, we do not need to see login failures. So we will use our safe search to filter those out. In our use case, uh, we were required to show each user in each role once on the, on the search and to show the last time that they logged into NetSuite. To do this, the criteria should show only logins where the user was successful. And for the results, we utilize the summary type so we can easily analyze the data in the way that we want. So using summary types, the most commonly used summary type is group. You can see that we use that for user and role columns. Uh, the group summary type rolls up the results of the search by grouped fields. So by grouping user and role, we will see the results for each user for each role once. So rather than seeing one user logged in multiple times using the same role as we saw in the standard login audit trail, we would only see that username or that role appear once in our results. Next, we use the summary type maximum for login date. By using the summary type, we are asking NetSuite to show us the most recent date or the most maximum date. So um, lastly, we also relabeled the column header to say last login date. So when we do run this report, the users will be able to easily identify what this column is for. Otherwise, the column header will just say maximum of date, which is not as clear and doesn't give as good of a user experience. So here's the final result. And we can see that the most recent login date for each user and each of their associated roles is shown. So I wanted to take Alex Wolf here, for example. His name appears multiple times because he has logged in multiple roles. But each line shows a unique role as defined by the group summary type. The most recent login date for each of these roles are tracked on separate lines under the last login date column. And from here, our client was able to take the solution to their auditor to be used for their user review. And I would recommend using the solution to any of our clients that have a similar need.